Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Walters. I'm here with part two on feeding your Corvette after you get it. Now we've got the food mixed up. We showed you that earlier. And we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys. I've got two pie crows here. And one of them is Jill's pie crow. And his name is Charlie. And I wanna show you the boxes that we keep them in. I use these milk boxes because I can just throw them away. It's real easy. I don't have to try to clean them. But we've got hay or straw inside, so it's like a little nest. And when they're very, very young, I'll actually take a bowl and I'll put the material like we'd have in the nest inside this box. And then when they go to the bathroom, they actually back up to the edge of the bowl and go in the box. And this contains all the mess. So then we graduate to this, where it's just the hay or straw. And I want to point out something. In doing this, it keeps the birds fairly clean. It's very soft. It's very natural for them. And the other thing is, from raising these guys for many, many years, what can happen if you have them on some other material and you go to pick them up, a lot of times their toenails will get caught. And with the hay or straw, that the straw and hay will come with the bird. Otherwise, in many cases, you can actually pull their toenail off. So I love doing it this way. I think it works really well. We just throw these away and then start fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and feed these guys. We just take a little spoonful. I actually gave them a little bit earlier because they were so hungry. So this is not a full feeding. This would just be a partial feeding. But we basically take a little bit in our spoon and then just put it right in their mouth. It's very, very simple. There you go. That's Charlie. I can hardly believe it, Jill, that Friday, in just a couple days, he's going to be on his way to see you. There we go. Now, as far as when they get full, what will happen is they'll, they won't give you as much of a feeding response, and they'll start shaking their head, and they might throw the food around a little bit, and that's to let you know, hey, I'm full. That's enough. I don't want any more. So let's give them a little more here. There you go, Charlie. And then what we'll do is we slowly, gradually, as they get older, go to more solid food. Like this is some of the pellet, the RC20, and this we just put less and less moisture in it as they get older. You want some more or are you done? And you can, you want a little more, Charlie? See, now they're getting full. You can see they're kind of holding it and, and he's not giving me the feeding response. So I know, hey, that's enough. I'd much rather you feed more often and less than feeding too much at one time. So these guys are about done. I'm going to move on to the other two boxes here. These are hybrids, which is a cross between a pie crow and a raven. And let me go ahead and feed this one. Right there. He's hungry. There you go. And now, let me give him a little more. Are you done? And sometimes they'll take a little break. They'll have to swallow it and kind of rest a little and then he'll be hungry again. Here's two more hybrids. You can see, let me show them a little bit. There they are. This one here in the front, that one's Russell. You're going to get that one on Friday. Let me go ahead and feed them. And I think Charlie's coming over here to say hi. There we go. Like I say, the one in the corner there is Russell's hybrid. And get some more. And they take pretty good size amounts of food here, but the smaller you put on your spoon, the easier it is for him to swallow. And we'll let him rest a little bit. Let me give him a little more. Do you want some more, Charlie? Do you want some? Okay, I'll give you a little more. Like I say, if he spits it out, we know he's full. There you go. Very another good. one. And sometimes, like I see, I'll let them rest, and I'll come back, give them a little more. You get a smaller amount here. There you go. And like I say, I slowly will go to more solid, more solid food as these guys get older. And then eventually, that RC20 pellet, we actually offer that dry for the breeders and use it as a treat for training and it works really good. 
I think you're full. I think that's enough. How about you? You want some more? Here we go. Okay, let's move back over here. Very good. Okay. And like I say, at this point, these guys are getting old enough. They're starting to perch on the edge of the boxes. And during the day, they need at least six to eight hours of sunlight or getting outside, even if it's not direct sunlight, so they can get some some uh, <clears throat> some sunlight to get that, that uh, calcium and, and so forth with their bones and keep them nice and healthy. Anything else you can pick up, trees that we didn't cover? No. <laughs> It's we amazing. We don't normally feed them in the kitchen like this. I actually <laughs> no, we don't. We actually feed them out on the deck if we got them out there during the day and and um, and get them fed there. So these guys are doing great. Uh, Kim, I think you're gonna really enjoy Charlie. Is this him right here? We got little. They've got their anklets on, so they're used to wearing their anklets. And uh, pretty excited for you. And Russell, I think your guy's over there sleeping, but. Uh, <laughs> He'll be there to you on Friday. Look at how I'm sweet they there. are. Just like a human baby. Once they're fed, they're content. Yeah, they're going to go sleep for a little while. So, Thank you very much. I hope this has helped. If you guys, if anybody has any further questions, feel free to give us a call. And we'll be glad to help you.